Heel, Flame here, and today we have just had a new trailer release for a new game called Sonic Cross Shadow Generations, or I say it's a new game, like it's the Generations remaster that has been rumoured for the last week or so. I am kind of surprised that Generations is getting a remaster, considering like the PC version holds up really well. And the Xbox version, the Xbox 360 version, if you play it on the Series X, it holds up really well. And also the fact that they're tying Shadow into it, which he only had kind of a minor part in the original release. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But without further ado, let's sit back, watch the trailer and see what's going on here. Here is the trailer for Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. Okay, looking very similar right now. But I know this is going to be a bait and switch, I just feel it. Oh no, it is just generations being generations. Where's the shadow stuff? It's the shadow stuff I want to see. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> God, he's so cool. I hope he's got like a major story element. Oh, yes! Yeah, we got some more SA2 stuff going on. Oh, and Black Doom! I was never expecting to see Black Doom again. I'm gonna be honest, like, Black Doom is such peak, like, edgy 2000 Sonic. But, like, a Radical Highway remake, maybe? Actually, no, like, obviously, that's the bio are there, but a lot of this looks new rather than just remade levels. There's more to this than I was expecting. Like, I was kind of expecting it to be like a Sonic Generations plus Shadows Fury kind of deal. <laughs> Which maybe it is. Maybe this is like a sort of post-game thing. Because I'm not quite sure how you would weave this stuff into the like standard Sonic Generations story. Because like, although it's a very lightweight story, it's kind of firmly structured in the sense that you couldn't really just stick something in so I wouldn't be surprised if what we've just seen there is a post-game thing but you have my interest guys you have my interest and I hope that the shadow stuff is substantial enough to kind of justify it because Sonic Generations is a very short game and it's an already a very polished game so like I was saying it's not one that I would have expected a remaster for but you know, if there's new content, there's new content, and I'm down for that. Uh, I'm kind of... like the, the thing that I'm thinking of, and I'm hoping it's much, much, much more substantial then, is that if you remember in Sonic Forces, that had the DLC expansion that was really just like 25 minutes of reworked levels episode Shadow, and like, that kind of was just an obvious afterthought but the fact that they're actually marketing shadow front and center here that makes me feel like this is probably going to be like at least an hour's worth of gameplay there but the fact that they're bringing black doom in the fact that we saw the bio lizard again it feels like there's actual shadow specific story rather than just trying to stick shadow into an existing story and that is something that comes off as incredibly promising for me and I will say in general, I'm always very happy to see more stuff with Shadow. Like I feel like he, during the meta era in particular, he was very heavily neglected. So if they're writing that wrong here, if they're giving him something more substantial to do, I don't know whether this is going to eat into the segment that he had in the base game of generation. So if they're doing that there, maybe they're going to kind of change the race a bit because like the race boss thing that they had with shadow in base generations wasn't exactly that great it was like a remake sort of of his final sa2 boss except it had this mechanic where you would chase after the purple orb and you know you sort of beat it accidentally without realizing so it wasn't that great so maybe if this is something that gets put in there if they're not doing the post-game thing. If they're doing the post-game thing, then it won't affect it at all. But if they're trying to work it into a generation story, then I guess that could be somewhere to put it. Like, maybe as an optional thing. I don't know. Like, 
I do understand why they're pushing Shadow again now though. It makes sense from a brand synergy kind of perspective because Shadow is obviously a huge part of the third Sonic film. That, that's just a good idea. If you're pushing a character heavily in one facet of the franchise, it makes sense to also push him in another in the games. And again, like I'm, I'm trying to analyse this somewhat fairly, but there's a big part of my brain that's just like, hey, it's more Shadow, you get more Shadow, Shadow is really cool. And like, that, that's where I stand on this. I will pick it up, like I'll pick it up anyway because it's Sonic, but like I'm especially excited to have a reason to play a... Sonic Generations remaster. If it was just a standard port without any new content, then I would have passed because I've already got the PC version, which plays great. But the more I'm talking this through, I went from a bit kind of cautious about it, like why do we need a Generations remaster, to I want to play a Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one thing I am a little bit concerned about, though, is that Sega have this habit or, or I wouldn't say habit, but like they've set a trend with Sonic Origins and Sonic Origins Plus that when they re-release a game on PC, they remove the original versions. Like when Origins came out, there were already PC versions of Sonic 1, CD, 2 and 3 and Knuckles, but they took those down in favour of the new version. And that doesn't really sit well with me, especially with Generations, because Generations already has a huge modding community. There's a lot of people who have made all kinds of different really ambitious fan-made mods for Generations, new levels, character swaps. There's even these huge ambitious projects like, say, the Unleashed project and that. I don't want that to kind of create compatibility issues with the new version and people not be able to get the old one again just to play the existing mods. And just in general, like, if this is a new game then it's probably going to be a lot more expensive than the old one is because the old one's been heavily discounted. So I feel like I want the original one to exist and this can be like a new version to coexist. The precedent that Sega have set suggests that won't be the case and this will be the new one, but I'm hoping that you yeah, know, maybe they change it up, maybe they take a look at the fact that Generation still has a very active community and they just sort of leave it alone and let the new one stand for itself. And I also hope that they scrap De Novo, but I realise that we've already lost that battle before it even starts. Because <laughs> uh, Sega, they give with one hand, they take away with the other. I've kind of got used to this cycle now. I don't want to end on a downer because, like I say, what we saw in the trailer there looks great so yeah overall my thoughts are i'm looking forward to playing a shadow again i am looking forward to playing generations again because like i go back to generations every year or so just because it's such a fantastic sonic game and if we get to replay it with a fresh coat of paint i'll give it a go you know maybe not the most necessary remaster but given what we've just seen not one i'm opposed to either that's pretty much my thoughts on what we've seen so far. I'll be keeping a close eye on this. And I will see you next time for another video. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye for now.